Welcome back, gang. This is Bros and Shows. I'm Anthony. I'm Hunter. And we're, we're doing this for the first time. Uh, <laughs> season four, episode one. We're leaving off of 16 episodes of just crazy mayhem from the prison and the governor situation. Yeah, man. 34 episodes deep into The Walking Dead. It still feels like yesterday that we started this series. It really does. I can't believe we're already on season four, actually. I'm excited. Me too, man. But yeah, so we left off with the governor executing a lot of his own people. Yeah. Um, really showed his true colors. And yet Martinez and Shump still uh, decided to get back in the car with him and drive off. Like, yeah. This, why didn't they just kill him? I don't know, man. Like, that's, that's, I don't know if that, was that a fear and loyalty? You know what I mean? Like, I don't know, man. I mean, it had to be, right? Like, I, there's some people defending Martinez in the comments saying he's a good guy, but like, I don't know. In episode 14, he was calling the prison people rats, um, saying we got to kill them all. He's been the governor's trigger man this whole time. Yep. Um, he has no problem following him after what he did. How is Martinez a good guy? Um, I, I get it. Like, maybe not in this world. He'd probably be a cool guy. But what evidence have you seen that makes you think he's a good guy? Because I haven't seen no, it. No, I don't know. Not at all. He really. had a, a human conversation with Daryl. One time. <laughs> yeah. That's bare minimum, dude. Like, and then think what Merle went through. Like, he literally was a scumbag and completely turned around in the end. One of the best character developments I've seen he in the show. He had a phenomenal story arc. Yeah. Merle was a, just a great character. He's probably one of the better characters for redemption in um in fiction for me he's yeah. gotta be like top 10 merle dixon had a great turnaround even though it was it was like fast you know it pretty much happened in one episode you could still see all the signs leading up to that yeah. you know he always wanted to be part of it and i actually think that his conversation with herschel was kind of like a pivotal point oh absolutely and herschel's just somebody he can relate to just two country boys and he's like, he immediately called him out for being a black sheep. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? I thought it was cool. But ultimately, it was Daryl that that changed him. Helped him find his humanity yeah. again. Absolutely. All right, buddy. All right. Okay. But I'm curious to see how this season's going to go. Now that they have this huge population living there with them, you're going to have a lot of different viewpoints. It's a democracy now and not a dictatorship. Absolutely. So it's really going to come down to how are these random people that they brought into their group going to be thinking and wanting to do things Whereas if you do it right, I mean, you could have something really good there. You clear out the zombies in the yard, you barricade that up, you make that a land where you can farm, you have your strong go out and hunt whenever they can, you, you know? I think that you make a lot of good points, and it's like, it's interesting because all of season three, you can kind of think like, us versus them, keep people at a distance, people are dangerous. Absolutely. That's our like way of thinking in the prison the whole time. We're wary to take in the prisoners. We're wary to take in Tyrese and all of them. You know, we don't pick up the guy on the road and yet at the end of the season it totally shifts and like, you know what? We can't survive without other people. Absolutely. We need them. And so we bring them all to the prison, you know, kind of turn our way of thinking around, which I think is really cool. But it's true. Like you could never make the prison a real home. I mean, now you have people to help lift heavy objects, mm -hmm. people to help plant, people to help scout, people to help farm. I mean, people are a resource. Absolutely. And um, I'm, I'm excited to see where it goes because I think um, as far as memory goes, like season three and four is where I really had the hardest time remembering exactly what happened. So I'm really excited to watch this season two. Um, yeah, what are your predictions moving forward? Now that we have a whole new group at the prison. Well, the governor is out and about. I don't, and just from what we talked about, he's definitely going to make a return. You don't just have a guy do something that at the end and just disappear and never bring him back and resolve that whole situation. Yeah. And he's just crazy enough to try to do something, I feel like. And the ego he has isn't going to let him just walk away from that. Ego, check. Crazy, check. Traumatic past experience, check. Uh, need for revenge, check. I think he fits all the boxes yeah. for. Uh, Coming I, I, back. Yeah, but I still want to see because um, Morgan, correct? Yeah. Morgan, still what stuck sticks to me is like they're wearing their faces. And it's just like I feel like that has to go somewhere else just based off of what we've seen in the previous episodes of covering yourself in the smell mm -hmm. and surrounding yourself with zombie or walkers, sorry. And then that's – I feel like there might be people out there 
doing something crazy like that where they're covering themselves up and possibly wearing the faces of. So you think that's gonna have like kind of like a, like you think that comment is gonna come to a head this season? I feel like it will. I I just I don't know. Like that maybe the governor like starts doing that yeah, shit. Yeah, or... like people evolve. They figure things out just right. for survivability, especially. Right. You know what I mean? Normally, like. When we were talking about them eating dog food, you would never think about doing that True. unless you were put into a situation where you needed to. True. So I mean, I I mean all like I don't know. And there's a lot of older people I saw coming off that bus, so like that could be a liability more than anything. Mm. Just I mean nothing against the elderly, but in that situation, you want to have a young able body for fighting for anything in general. Yeah, but look at Herschel. He's old. At yeah. at first glance, you think one legged old man. You're useless. But we know him as Herschel. Yeah. And he is a very useful person. Yeah, absolutely. Not only for his knowledge, but his wisdom. The fact that he can talk somebody down. The fact that he is just kind of that fatherly presence. You need a, you, It can't all be fighters and, like, hard asses. You know, you need the level heads. So I think um, we definitely have – don't get me wrong. On, like, a run, they're probably a liability. Herschel, <laughs> Herschel, would, Herschel would be a liability on a yeah. run. You're absolutely right. But – if they stay safe in the prison, I think they're worth protecting just because of what they could bring to the table. Absolutely, absolutely. You know, you could have, like, a an architect that mm -hmm. could help you oh. do shit. You know what I mean? And just well, somebody who knows the farming just like Herschel does, you know? Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. So, uh, pe like, people are a resource just like anywhere, mm -hmm. uh, especially in this world. Then, Carl, I'm, wor I'm worried about how his mental psyche is going to develop in this season after killing the boy – and then they took the same people that they were enemies. What's that going to really do to him on the inside? Because he didn't seem too happy that that was the answer Rick wanted to go for. Yeah, I think he had something to prove, and he had some anger to get out. And you know what? I still stick to what I say in the finale. I don't blame Carl for doing it. This kid was part of a group that just attacked him and would have had no second thoughts about killing him. Yeah, that's Zero. True. That's very true. So while, yeah, it sucks because they would have been like – they could, probably could have ended up being friends. Yeah. But I don't think it's something that Herschel's going to let go. I think this is something that Carl's going to have to deal with. And, like, yes, morally he was wrong, right? But from his standpoint and how hot and heavy the moment was, and, like, these people are coming to kill us. And he's 12, 13. Is, is that how old he is? If that you, even. You forget how old he is just because of how much he matured. Especially in this season. Matured like, as far as became dark. Well, yeah, just but because he that. had... Yeah, I guess you're, you're right. He didn't mature to the level of, like, Herschel with, like, yeah. compassionate and then level-headedness. Right. It's more like you're saying, I got something to prove and I got a lot of anger inside right. of me. I mean, he was wrong, but in that situation, I can definitely forgive what he did. It's better you know? to be safe and sorry in that better, world. Because, yeah, I mean... It, it, and you made a great point, I think, in the last... In the season finale, like... Rick let that guy live, the prisoner live, that yeah. got Lori killed. Um, the, Carl let the walker go, and it got Dale killed. Yeah. Carl does, has now learned, I think there's another example I'm forgetting, that it's, you don't take chances in this world. You can't. And you know, that kid could have easily, after they lowered their guard, he could have easily picked up a shotgun and boom, blew him away. Yeah. Then what are they going to do? So... I don't know. It's it's a tough situation. I'll give you that. They do good at that, bringing those into the mix. They do. Though, and make you think about it. Yeah. Because, like, one second I'll be like, no, I totally agree. And then I think about it and I'm like, I mean, I do agree, but, yeah. I can, I can see where Herschel's coming from. I could from. definitely see the other side. Yeah. I hope Herschel's the one that kind of has, like, a talk with Carl and tries to straighten him out. I feel like he's the best one to do it. Yeah. Carl could use some of the Herschel wisdom. And then Rick's not seeing his old lady anymore. I feel like that was... Yeah, that was a sign. Open up sure. his humanity gave him back his saneness, you know, to a certain level. Yeah, when he looked up and she wasn't there anymore. Yeah. Well, as the other people were walking or whatever. Yeah. This is going to be a good season. Yeah. Let's get into it. Here we go, gang. I'm so excited. And I just can't hide it. Oh, well, it looks like Ace that. is about to lose control and I think he likes it. Like clean water? Oh, yeah. Well, they did exactly what I said they should do. <laughs> Literally. Yeah. I mean, it makes the most sense. Got himself a uh, Walkman. Drown out the walkers. Funny. Walkman, walkers. <laughs> <laughs> I still don't get why they don't take care of those walkers. <laughs> I really don't get it. 
Damn, that thing is ugly. I feel like you'd want to do it anyways, because if it gets too big, with a herd pushing up against yeah, that Yeah, that's fence, what I'm saying. Like, And the, the noise draws more of them. I just, I don't, I would love a good reason as to why they don't. Maybe there is one that we're not seeing. Yeah. It's Farmer Rick now. <laughs> right? It didn't wake me up. Because I knew you were up all night reading comics with a flashlight. <laughs> Good. He's being a kid. What's up with Violet? Oh. Carl, I told you not to name them. They're, they're not piglets anymore. They're food. I just thought... Yeah. You know, until... Morning, Doctor. Dang, they got barbecue. And Daryl's popular. Just so you know, I liked you first. Stop. Rick brought in a lot of them too. Not recently. Oh. So Daryl's been out on the road, like bringing bringing in survivors. That's cool as shit. So it's not just Woodburyans. Uh, Mr. Dixon, I just wanted to thank you for bringing that deer back yesterday. It was a real treat, sir. And I'd be honored to shake your hand. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> I mean, germs, I wouldn't even care about that. Yeah, fuck okay, it, whatever. Dude, look how many are flooding, though. I just, there we go. Thank you. Okay, they have some people on duty. It's the easiest way to clear things out. Yeah. Look how many it's drawing in. That's crazy. Oof. All right, I'm satisfied. Yeah. I'm happy. So they better keep going. Like, like, look how many are here. Holy crap, dude. Whoa. That's a whole herd. Why are there so many? Getting Whoa. Last month, they're not spread out anymore. More of a center, I'll draw more of them out. Get enough those damn fence cleaners, they start to hurt up. Against the fences again. It's manageable, but unless we get ahead of it, not for long. All right, glad we're having this conversation. Yeah, we spoke too soon. Yeah. Oh, well, look at that. The fence is already it's bending, bro. Bending. Just from all the weight. Yeah, I knew that was gonna happen. Look at Steven Yoon's hairless chest. But his hair is always looking so good. Remember when Herschel used to call Glenn the Asian boy? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Different yeah. times. You know everything's gonna work out, right? What are you guys about to do? Right. 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 You're staying okay. Um, Ugh, they have a great. I love their relationship. Right. Yeah. Very beautiful. Yeah. Oh, they got together. Cool. Yeah. Listen, can we talk? I'm thinking of going on the run today. Okay. I don't like killing them on the fence. I hate it. I mean, when they're coming at you out there, it's, it's different. What, dude? What? I'm glad your reaction was the same as mine. <laughs> I don't understand that at all. Tyrese, I love you. Yeah, he's awesome, but, but that's, that's weird. You always volunteered to do it. That's because you were always doing it. <laughs> oh, you dog. <laughs> Supply run, I'm thinking? Yeah. Hey. She's gonna come find you. No way! Beth has a new boyfriend. What's up? Kid looks like me when I was in high school. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Say goodbye? Nope. Damn romance novel. <laughs> <laughs> Starting off great. Great so far. Hey. Sasha, let's she's, go. She's kidding up. I'd like to start pulling my weight around here. Bob, it's only been a week. That's a week worth of meals. Bob looks Ooh. like he's ready to go to Jurassic Park. For real. These <laughs> leaves are going to be in the shade so we won't get any good fruit from it. There we go. 
We just pinch it off here. Farmer right there. Got himself Pretty a little pretty. leg. Mm -hmm. But they can still grow. Those little bristles, they'll take root. You will have a whole new plant. Damn, that's cool. Seems appropriate for her. Samurai on horseback? Hell yeah. yeah. There are so many. Oh, oh shit! <laughs> <laughs> that's actually really cool. I like the triangle formation mm -hmm. too, very sturdy. Well, uh, look who's back. Didn't find him. Glad to see you in one piece. The governor? Oh, she's governor. definitely hunting him down. It's worth a shot. 70 miles of walkers. You might run into a few unneighborly towns. Is it? How long do you think it's been? That'd be a little bit of time passed because if they keep finding the people, farming, yeah, you know, like months at least. Yeah, months. I know it's kind of like a cheap tactic, but I really wouldn't be mad at like a seven months later thing, you know? Yeah. That humidity. Nothing wrong with staying close, Rick. Everyone understands. You're growing us enough food, so we won't need to do a run soon. But we do have to find you a good pair of overalls. <laughs> A little piece of wheat out of the corner of your mouth. <laughs> Maybe a bigger ass. Yeah. Listen. The rest of the council. Daryl, Glenn, Carol, Sasha. All council? That makes sense. To talk to you. That's when good. You go out there, no one leader. You gotta I mean, you them have them a leader, out. but you still have a council. He hasn't been taking his gun? That's just silly. In trouble, six bullets isn't going to make a difference. Rick, it might. We want you to be safe. Bring your gun. Aww. Oh, what uh, the hell? There goes your that meal. Careful, Rick. Season three, Rick would have said no. Yeah, absolutely. Would have drawn on her, if anything. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Here. Go ahead. It's a pimento sandwich. <laughs> Makes her dangerous. Yeah. You do. Oh no, that's weird. Well, one of them has a name tag, so we thought all of them should. They had names when they were alive. They're dead now. No, they're not. They're just different. What the hell are you talking about? <laughs> they don't talk. They don't think. They eat people. Don't name them. Supposed to go read. Come on. I agree. Unacceptable behavior. Army came in, put these fences up, made it a place for the people to go. Last week, men spotted this place. There's a bunch of walkers behind this chain link, keeping people out like a bunch of guard dogs. Who drew them out? Put a boom box out there three days ago. Oh, good, up to two car batteries. All right, let's make a sweep. Okay, I think I got it. Got what? Oh, I've been trying to guess what Daryl did before the turn. Mm -hmm. Careful waving that shotgun yeah, around, brother. I'm pacing myself. One shot a day. Homicide cop. It <laughs> 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 makes perfect sense. Actually, the man's right. <laughs> Come on, really? 
<laughs> that would be something you would do just for fun, definitely. Oh yeah, 100%. Yeah. <laughs> Chopped in half. Was it chopped in half? It looks like it, yeah, I guess because the, the insides would be trailed out. There's his upper half. Oh, uh, yeah. That'll do it. I wonder if that roof can hold that amount of weight. People are the best defense against walkers. So true. Mm -hmm. People. We help each other. You call them walkers. Finally, someone says something about that. Mm -hmm. No one's ever been like, walkers? Yeah. Ooh. That would maybe shit my pants. Mm -hmm. yeah. Enough of that nonsense. I feel like everything here is useful. I would take literally like so much stuff. All those paper towels back there, dude. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The wine be good. Like, oh, the... he's an alcoholic. Oh yeah, you can just see it. The temptation. That building's not made for all that weight up there. They're gonna start falling from the roof, aren't they? Oh! Oh, oh shit. shit! Oh god. I knew it! Oh, I knew it shit. was gonna happen! Too much construction. You cut or something? Nah, man, but uh, my, my foot is caught. Alright. Oh, it's just caught. Come on, help me up. If it was just the walkers, it probably wouldn't be a problem, but that helicopter has got to waste so much. Right through the drywall. Oh! oh! And the rest are going to start flooding through. Oh. It can never go easy for the gang. Well, that one's dead. <laughs> that was vile. I hope we answer your three questions to your satisfaction. Oh, bro. At this point, oh, yeah. who needs that, right? Oh no, Glad! Yeah, cat's out of the bag now. Yeah, might as well. Watch out behind you! It's time to leave Big Lots. Oh, that, come on, you know that's not gonna do anything. There you go. Oh, oh that, it's about fuck. to crash through. Oh, dude! Couldn't even go back for him. He just has to get eaten alive. Wow. And then crushed. Yeah. Better than getting eaten alive. That was a brutal death. Yeah. Damn. R.I.P. Zach. We barely knew you. Maybe if she hadn't screamed on attack, it would have worked. Let me be like him. Oh, the acting from Andrew Lincoln is just 
Just facial acting is so good. Yeah. No. Let me be with him. Oh, what a bad way to go. Yeah. A stomach stab? You're not going to die instantly. You're going to sit there in pain for hours. He's like, that was a bummer of a day. Yep. <laughs> that sucked. Today, we are talking about knives. How to use them. How to be safe with them. And how to be safe with them. Ma'am, may I be dismissed? Story time. What is it? I'm not feeling very well. She's like, well, you're gonna die. <laughs> Today, we're gonna learn how to hold a knife. How to stab and slash and where to aim for. I'm going to tell. <laughs> they need to learn this shit. Absolutely. She is totally right. That one keeps eyeballing me. I don't like it. She died, huh? As long as she doesn't come back as a zombie pig. <laughs> I think it's exclusive to humans. Yeah. <sighs> Daryl's telling Beth. There's nothing else to do. I'll go see her. <sighs> I'm not pregnant. This is just the world now. Yeah. So you just have to keep living as usual and just figure it out. Think about like cavemen back in the day. Exactly. Like, yeah. Like Honestly, I would take this over fucking um saber tooth tigers and shit. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Absolutely. Living in caves, being hunted by every predator out there. Yeah. What is it? to help her you couldn't no one oh helped. that's gnarly some people are too far gone you're not you tried to help her I had that woman wound up i got close to that true mm -hmm. if i lost carl judith if i lost this place not then rick not even then you get to come back you do he needed to hear that after today i think that really fucked him up It was like a swine flu or something. Oh, don't put your sick fucking hands in there. 
He's coughing what right are you into doing, it, too. Bro? Are you kidding me? Holy shit. I'm surprised they don't have like a night watch walking around, you know what I mean? Well, if he dies, that's gonna cause a lot of problems if they don't find the body fast enough. Uh, I mean. Oh, here we go. <laughs> here we go. Well, let's talk about it. Well, definitely any kind of sickness is. A potentially life-threatening situation because they can't diagnose you properly. But maybe he wasn't like normal. Maybe he was infected. Yeah, maybe. But then when when did it happen? I don't you know. know. He was in the walls the whole time. Yeah. But so. maybe maybe he was normal sick. I don't know. Then I mean, there's it might be like kind of virus going on a different one, obviously, because the oh shit. <laughs> So we have the <laughs> we have the synopsis for the next episode. It's ah. called Infected. It's fine. We can read the synopsis. It's two sentences. So some of the survivors are quarantined to prevent a virus from spreading. Carol takes two girls under her wing and Tyrese makes a shocking discovery. Okay, so it is a virus. Okay. It's not an infection. Okay, that, that clears that up. Well, which makes sense because the pig dying out of the blue. I mean, oh, yeah, maybe it is swine. That's why you said swine. Blue. Yeah, that's why I That makes sense. And then I don't know what time, when did this come out? Because maybe that was lining up with the whole swine flu epidemic. True. That I was remember happening. that. That was like 2015. That would actually make sense, I think. Is that when this? I don't know. I think so. That was the, that was when the swine flu was. 2015? 2015? Right? I don't remember. 2013? Don't, there's been too many viruses. That yeah, there's been off. so many. Yeah. Um, what did you think about the uh, the three questions that Rick asked? It's like, I guess, the questions that they ask new people before they let them in. It's a good three questions. So then you understand their experience with the walkers. Because if they have a lot of kills, then obviously you, you're capable and you should be someone that goes out right. or defends the walls. But you got you to gotta figure out your fighters. Two, you got to see, all right, you killed people. What was the reason behind it? You yeah. know, like, where is it because you had to defend yourself or is it because you were being the governor and you're just acting out a crazy, but at the same time, how are you gonna know they're not lying to you about everything? So you just have to use your intuition, I guess. Yeah. But something I noticed upon the rewatch of season three for me is that when Rick answered the phone, the person on the other end said, "How many walkers have you killed? How many people?" Or I think he said, "How many walkers have you killed? How many people have you killed?" And uh... so it's like he got like inspiration from that. But I really like the three questions. I think it's cool that. We got a little time skip. Um, all of our like core members are on the council, and they're respected in the in the prison. And mm -hmm. you know, it's like it's just cool. It's obviously been at least like five months, right? Yeah, I would think. I mean, I'm no farmer, so but it definitely takes some time to get crops going, cultivate yeah. the land, to even get that going. For sure. And then finding livestock out of you know that probably took a while. Oh yeah, because they eat everything they can get their hands on. You and know? then. Um, the kids naming the walkers was weird. Yeah. They shouldn't be doing that. Then Carol's trying to teach them behind the scenes, and Carl's going to go snitch on her. There's a lot going on. We got, we got caught up in like a whole new world, basically. So. I like it, though, because you too. add more characters and different dynamics to everything. I, I think it's the best part is mm -hmm. like the new dynamics and how they act in a group setting, and now that we're trying to build a life, what does that look like? Yeah. Um, the new kid dying on the, on the run, Zach, that sucks. Huh? Well, Bummer for him, but that's what happens. Yeah. This world is unsure. Yeah. I, I like the addition of Bob. I think he's a cool character. A medic seems, could always be used. Um, yeah, army medic seems to struggle with alcohol. Um, you know, so that's just kind of like an interesting dynamic. Like, imagine going through alcohol withdrawals in the apocalypse. And most people would just be like, fuck it. I'm drinking. I don't care. Yeah. It's the apocalypse. But he seems to still, like, struggle with it and want to, want to be off of it, which is cool. Um he should talk to definitely Herschel because he had... Yeah, Herschel had the same exact experience. Mm -hmm. um, and then he fell off the wagon after Otis and all that shit happened. After oh, yeah. after Shane opened the barn and killed all his family. Um, That's crazy. Yeah, that was rough. All right, well, season four is <laughs> off to a fucking great start. I'm excited for episode two. We'll see you then. I'm Hunter. I'm Anthony. This is Frozen Shows. Good day. Peace. How was your day, though? Oh, fuck. Here we go. <laughs>